This video is in collaboration with Heli Shed and sponsored by Heli Shop. Today we're here with Adam Domain and we'll be talking about the new Spirit Radio. Please tell us a little bit about this transmitter. So this is a uh, brand new to market, it's not released yet. Uh, we don't have a release date yet for this new radio. But essentially it is a brand new radio from Spirit RC. In, collab in conjunction with a brand new fly ballast unit as well that works in conjunction with that transmitter. So essentially it's a new fly ballast unit with an inbuilt receiver which means it's dedicated to that unit. That allows then full integration in terms of tuning, in terms of um, gain parameters, in terms of telemetry feedback etc etc. So users out there are probably familiar to the world of V-Bar. It's it's quite similar in terms of it's a full ecosystem. Benefits of that system as well though are the fact that it will also work with planes, uh, whether that be a fly bar, uh, sorry, a gyro enabled plane because this can have a, a, a aero software loaded to it or Spirit Alphasource also releasing um, their own dedicated blank receivers essentially which means you can put it in a foamy without a gyro etc and that will work with it. So it's a full 30 channel uh, transmitter that will work with their receivers. Great thing that they've done as well that we believe, and that's to be confirmed by Spirit at the moment, but as we understand it, their receivers that will come to market will be backwards compatible with the current Spirit range. So Spirit has been in the market now for a number of years. They're quite an underlying um, manufacturer in terms of the UK market. They're quite unknown. Um, there's, there's pockets of people here, there and everywhere, but they've actually been in the market for some time now. They make premium fly ballast units, and as you do your walk around video of this unit, it, you'll see the quality of the actual fly ballast unit. It's all aluminium in case, for instance. So they've been around for some time and they've been producing um, fly ballast units for that period of time. So uh, they had originally the Spirit, then it was the Spirit 2, then it was the Spirit GT, and now we're on to the Spirit, what is the W1 essentially, which is this one here. Um, that transmitter will work with all of the previous Spirit units as well. So that's great for current customers. They can transition over to a new radio and use their current software and then start to get the benefits of a fully integrated unit as they start to rotate their fleet as they see fit. In terms of features, well, for starters, in terms of the fly ballast unit itself, it's very much based on their current GT range, so it's proven. Um, the vibration immunity is second to none out in the, in, the, in the marketplace at the moment. So on this particular helicopter, this is a rough running, rich 55HZ at the moment. So it's very, very vibey. Um, yet it's only got one single layer of tape. Uh, we've been and flown it and tested it um, a couple of days ago, funnily enough, and you get absolutely zero vibration feedback whatsoever. The tail is one of the most notable features on the Spirit unit. It is absolutely premium. Um, akin to another manufacturer that begins with F, and that's sort of the holy grail of tails, for instance. Um, and, the, and again, the head is very natural feeling, it's very pure. So for me, I'm an old school flyer, I, I actually started on fly bars, so this is very much taking me back to old school because it has that really nice feel, but yet if you want the precision and the locked and the robotic feel, you can vary the style accordingly and it does it impeccably. And the, the actual hardware that's in the unit is absolutely second to none, it's check quality. Uh, and that uh, goes for the radio as well. So uh, in addition to that, um, it will support uh, 760 servos, it will support uh, up to one, uh, up to 700 hertz uh, refresh rate on the tail uh, servos, likewise on the main cyclic circo, uh, servos it will support up to, I think it's 500 hertz but don't quote me on that one, but we'll, we'll throw up the spec sheet later at the end of this video I'm sure.
Um, fantastic. Lo beautiful information there. Very clear, and I'm sure we'll summarise at the very end. My only real question, Tonchi, uh, for Adam here is, what's the tar who's the target audience? Who's this aimed at? It's a great system, no question, but I'm trying to understand what sort of, you know, <laughs> who's it aimed at? Yeah, so I would say it's not it's not for beginners um, because that's going to be a lot of money and we'll talk about how much it could potentially cost later but it, it is a lot of money for a starter let's say this is more aimed at a pilot that's going to be transitioning to what we call a premium fly ballast unit so those are users that are currently looking at the likes of Futaba and uh, V-Bar so this is an alternative to that product um, at a very competitive price in terms of the fly ballast unit and in terms of the features that it offers and its unique um, you know, unique features specific to um, Spirit the other thing is it's also targeted at its current user base because, as I said earlier, the radio will be backwards compatible with current Spirit users, yeah. of which there are quite, in, the, in Europe especially, there are a number of, and we know it's growing traction in the USA as well, for instance. So that's another target audience. Uh, realistically, is it going to be taking massive share off of the big uh, number one at the moment, beginning with a V? Probably not, although I think there's some traction to be gained there, given some recent feedback that we've been receiving about their flybars units, um, and I'm one of those users. Yeah. Um, uh, likewise, there's the Futaba system, which, okay, they've just brought out a new 770R uh, flybars unit, yeah. um, but in terms of have they upped the integration level, have they really done much innovation in terms of their update to the 770R? Arguably, it's quite minimal. So again, this is another fresh-to-market contender to maybe go against some of their share. But realistically, it's going to be current Spirit users and somebody that's maybe going from a, let's say, a Beast X or something similar and wanting to upgrade to a premium fly ballast unit that is absolutely fully competition and you know uh, capable as well as scale capable. You know, scale guys need things that are very immune to vibrations, immune to interference in terms of RF, etc. Again, this unit is going to appeal to those sort of uh, customers. Likewise, I say it's not for beginners, but actually, arguably, this has one of the best rescues in the market. Uh, look at the videos on YouTube. Uh, Thomas at Spirit has actually posted some. I've seen a helicopter virtually you know, within three foot of the ground, inverted in a right state, and by hitting a switch, it will right itself the right way, and it will go up to however high you want it, stabilize itself and wait until you're ready and you've uh, you know, you're ready to recompose yourself and go fly again and it's a fantastic uh, rescue system on this uh, unit so again another user so you said that the reason you wouldn't recommend it for beginners is because it's on the higher end what sort of costs are we talking about here? so cost wise we're looking at around eight to nine hundred euros at the moment on the radio itself and on the fly ballast unit uh, circa 250 pound UK is what we believe but that's not that's not been published yet officially by um, Thomas at Spirit so we're just guessing based on the current GTR pricing and, and, and to be clear this has not been released yet Correct. this is this is very very early sort of access absolutely right so I, I'm currently using beta software at the moment I'm very I've been very privileged to um, start working and doing some testing with Thomas as it were I'm not officially on the Spirit team this is purely what we're doing as um, uh, Heli shop in collaboration with Spirit because we're the exclusive uh, importers of the unit now in the UK so as part of that we've benefited by being given a unit last week um, and we've already started giving feedback and the great thing about Spirit and that they're the most reactive to feedback I think out of all of the manufacturers you know I'll say something to Thomas and two days later he said yeah I fixed that and I've got a release and he's, he does that with all of his current units in the market now he's very open and receptive to feedback from his current consumers and he acts on it and improves his unit and it's a continual pr improvement process. Brilliant. Brilliant. Will there be multiple editions of the said transmitter or is there one set price and so one set edition? about the transmitters there are two options that will be available as we understand it uh, there will be what's this version the standard uh, Wave TX and then there'll be a Wave Pro so the two price points are uh, 800 to 900 euro we believe and then around 1100 to 1200 for the Pro so the differences between the two units so that one is a plastic cased unit 
Um, it doesn't, and um, the Pro will be an aluminium case unit. As well as that, on the Pro, they will come with, as we understand it, a five year warranty on all the switch gear. So, any problems with the switch gear, send it back. And I've personally used Spirit Warranty in my previous video. It's a very quick turnaround, especially in the UK. Within a week, you've got your items back, for instance. So, phenomenal aftercare from Spirit. Uh, and the other thing is, they will have cloud based servicing. So, similar to other manufacturers out there, if you do a flight, uh, it will record it on the unit and it will upload it to the cloud, for instance. As a pro unit, you pro user, sorry, put my teeth back in. As a pro user, you'll get additional cloud storage as part of that agreement. And we believe there'll be some other features, but I think. I think Spirit are holding back a little bit, uh, ready for when they actually go to release. So I'm sure there's. I mean, to yeah, you, you got a surprise for um, buyers. Yeah. Rob, that's not yours, is it? Uh, one more question, if I may, Tonchi. Um, so to be very clear for those watching this, with, with if I was to get this when it comes out. Uh, I've only got an IQ of three, I'm afraid. Uh, one of those is to sleep, one is to eat, and the other is to use a computer. Well, that one out, I don't know. But am I able to program this unit via a GUI on my computer, or is it all done in the transmitter? So you have the option. Okay. So if you're, uh, you can use the PC software, and current Spirit users will be very familiar with the software because it's not changed. It's the same as the current software that they're using today or you can do everything within the radio. Wow. So you can do, it's a full guided setup. Yeah. It's literally, do this, swipe to the next screen, and it will tell you exactly what it wants you to do in terms of what numbers to enter, uh, what values to give to the sub trims, etc., etc. It will walk you through, and it's about 10 pages as I understand it. And when I say 10 pages, it's not war and peace, it's very much, takes 30 seconds, swipe to the next page, and within, I'd say, five minutes, you can have this helicopter set up quite easily. Brilliant. I'm sold. I'll have seven. That's what I'd hear. I'll have seven. I'll have seven, Alessio. I agree. I'll have seven. Yeah. No, I'm joking, mate. No, the wife will leave me. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for this. Um, as you guys heard it, as soon as it comes out, it will be available, and it sounds like a very attractive piece of equipment, so those of you out there who are interested, Go ahead and take a look, and obviously, thank you for your. Where can we get this from? Heli shop. Is there anywhere Mr. Else you can get it from? Mr. Alessio. Yeah, no. Around, no. Heli shop. So yeah, um, to speak to Alessio, and you'll get your own transmitter from him.